finish that up. Whatever. I don't know who that was. Desert Ray. Desert Pastafari. Hmm. Okay. It's on the Romeo and Juliet soundtrack with Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes. Nice. From 1990, I can't remember. One of those years. Early. Hey, everybody! Welcome back to Great Measures. My name is Richard. Great measures. That's Judson or Desiree. Mm-hmm. You uh, gotta be bad. Yep. Yeah. Gotta be bold. You gotta be wiser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta be hard. <laughs> gotta be tough. You gotta be strong, stronger. Stronger. <laughs> uh, been a while since we've done an Opeth song. Mm -hmm. You heard The Burden. Mm -hmm. We're going to do Blackwater Park today from 2001's Blackwater Park. Okay. Not Black Water Park, but Blackwater Park. Okay. Well, that makes all the difference. Yeah. I'm uh, going to read a little bit of info about the album and stuff like that. Please do. It's the fifth studio album by Opeth. It was released in March of 2001. It marks the first collaboration between Porcupine Tree frontman Stephen Wilson and the band. Porcupine Tree is a band we're going to have to get to. It's been requested a good bit. Oh, that's a band. I do not know I that Porcupine was the name Tree. Of a person though. or something. So I'm excited to hear stuff by Porcupine Tree. Um, Wilson, the frontman Stephen Wilson for Porcupine Tree, he brought in to produce the album. Hmm. Um, this kind of contributed to a shift in Opeth's musical style. Um, this album is widely considered as their magnum opus. Your mom is a magnum opus. There's the lyrics. So this is like a park, wherever they are and all this stuff. It's like a on. village. It's like a village? Mm hmm You know, it takes a village. Yes, it does. It takes a village to keep you focused. Huh? You, re you ready? Yes. Proceed, Richard. This is the, is this the band, oh, I don't want to be wrong, is this the band that has Michael, I, 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 Mikhail, Michael Okerfeld. Okerfeld, okay, so, yeah, these chord structures are, are crazy. This yeah. guy writes, you know, odd chord, just. They call this thinking man's metal. Ah, yeah, well, I can see why. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's all I want to point out. I already, I, like, I'm not going to pick this one out on the piano from from, from right now. So yet. far. Not yet, yeah. Yeah. Ready? Mm hmm.
gonna pause it and give a massive, massive shout out to Bumblefluff seven four nine seven nine four nine. Wait a minute, let me make sure I got that right. Bumblefluff seven nine four nine. Bumblefluff. I feel like that dude is my friend at this point. Why? I don't even know him. We just he comments a lot. He he loves what we're doing, and he has requested this song and. Oh, thanks, Bumble Fluff, for, yeah. for. Opeth. No, Bumble Fluff's numbers. Seven nine four nine. Seven nine four nine. I thought Bumble you were Fluff, saying. Seven nine four nine. Thank you for. <laughs> that's what I thought you were saying. Oh, no. Yeah. Carry we'll on. just call him Bumble Fluff. Bumble Shout Fluff. out Bumble Fluff. Shout out to Bumble Fluff. Ready? Being Bumble Fluff are waiting on you. I'm sorry.
That it? That is it. to the major. And he hit that note. <laughs> so he's all in this. <laughs> and he kept doing it. It sounded cool. Yeah. I must say. Okay. Must say it. Uh... I have not been won over by the guttural screaming. Sure. I don't like it. Okay. I, 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 that doesn't mean don't play, you know, play right, other right, stuff. Right, 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 But it hasn't won me over yet. Yeah. It's not musical to me. Mm-hmm. Now, right now. Yeah. I can't understand what they're saying sometimes. I mean, I, you know, I, it's just in the moment. Even though I know what he's fixing to sing, sometimes it's hard to get there. But from a musical standpoint... Opeth is the tits. Okay. I mean, just the 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 tone of everything, mm-hmm. and then stopping and doing acoustic guitar work, and it stays with that for a while. And mm-hmm. but it's so some of it sounds so. There's not a lot of riffs. I mean, it, there's it's riffs like they whatever. But even the, when he's Picking the guitar, the acoustic guitar, it's kind of like, where did you, where did you go in there? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's hard to kind of pick out. I mean, they're in D. Like most, I don't want to say it. <laughs> like a lot of Tool songs and metal songs. Mm-hmm. But, so he's hitting that open D and, you know, and then he does that at the end. And then the random, it's just, there's a lot of random parts in there. They don't really connect to one another. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So it's hard for me to latch on to exactly. And I say that, I don't know. If you were to play that song just over there one day and I heard it, I'd be, I'd probably be like, ah, okay, based on the structure. Mm-hmm. I thought the first part was real cool, yeah. how it comes in. It's real rocking. Mm-hmm. It's rocking more than metal-esque to me, except when the double bass thing starts yeah. coming in. But, um... I just like how I'd put it in the prog category. Yeah? Yeah. Well, until he starts singing the guttural stuff. Sure. Then you call it prog metal. Well, I'm just saying <laughs> I really liked it gotcha. until the guttural Except stuff for the guttural comes stuff. in. Okay. It's just, it's, I just hadn't got there yet. That's okay. To, to be like, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was the same way. At one point, I was like, no, nah, I'll never listen to that with the screaming stuff. Yeah. It's scary. I don't know what they're saying. I don't know why they say it or why they do it that way. It's just noisy rather than melodic <clears throat> to me. Okay. To me. Okay. At the moment. I'm sure everyone that sings. You don't have to defend I'm sure every, it or justify I'm sure everyone that sings in the gutter are beautiful, nice people, and I probably love them all. Okay. Well. No offense. Bumble Fluff. Bumble Fluff. Shout out to Bumble Flow. Yeah, yeah. That's my homie. Blackwater Park. Blackwater Park. Opeth. I like Opeth. Yeah. We'll do some that more. Guy's, that guy sounds like a genius when it comes to the music, when it comes to the musical stuff. Right. I mean, that's just one song right there. Mm-hmm. So if somebody writes a song, and that's the one they write, and then they have to write a bunch more for an album. Mm-hmm. But a bunch more of those, I mean, that's a lot of, it's a lot of thinking right there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do some more, Opeth. There's a lot of thinking to listen to it. Mm-hmm. And it's got to be a lot of thinking to write it. Um, you know what I mean? I'm sure. And he plays all those instruments? And, 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 no, he, he's just guitar and vocals. I thought you told me he was like a multi-instrumentalist or something. I mean, he may be, but... I bet he is. As far as Opeth goes, I think he's just guitar and vocals. Okay. I could be wrong. 
Somebody will correct me, I'm sure. Bumble Fluff. Bumble Fluff will let me know. He'll set me straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. We are Great Measures. That was Blackwater Park by... I don't remember the Great Measures I did before, but Great Measures. Opeth. My name is Richard. This is Judson. Hope everybody has a wonderful day.